Because I just... For me, I just got to 20. What are we doing? Okay, so... Oh, it's Earth I'm space cheating and... Yeah. yeah. What did you do? Uh, I, I don't understand what... I don't understand what... What happened? I brought everyone. <laughs> You brought us all to space dock. I don't know how. <laughs> Reasons? He said it as a damn. He said it as a primary. That's all. Yeah, what am I doing? And then he went and docked at space dock, which causes everybody to in the fire team to go to space dock. I do it all the time. But Alcatraz closed down because somebody did escape from there. Actually, three people escaped from there. But it was one, es one escape. They well, they stopped caring how they did it. It's the fact that they did it. <laughs> right. And not there, and not there, one of them was a famous person. I mean, I'd running. get pretty mad if my unexcapable prison was faulty. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that would definitely cause you to want to rethink your life. You're on an island in the middle of San Francisco Bay. Kind of like, how the fuck do you fuck that up? Please. Right? right. Well, you do know they actually do kind of figure they have a they have a prevailing theory of how they got out, right? That's how the movie The Rock came about. The raft, the raft theory is uh, been blown out of the water. I didn't Many say days. anything about I didn't say anything about a raft. I said that's how the movie The Rock came about. All right, what's the, what's the prevailing theory? The prevailing theory is... The, have you ever seen The Rock, dude? No. Then you wouldn't know the prevailing theory. The prevailing theory is that they got, out of, they got out of their cells by using, the, by using their bed, bedding to get out. And then they went down through the cistern in the, the cistern room to the tunnels underneath, the subs, the subways underneath, the damn, the, the, what's the fucking thing I'm looking for, the, uh, sewers, sewers, the sewers underneath, after going through the boiler room, and that's how they got out, that's the prevailing theory, that's why they used it in the movie The Rock, watch The Rock, dude, he, he, he explains it a lot better than I could possibly, I'll do. get up but on that place, but that's probably the most, that's the most credible theory that they got, and as far as getting from the island to the shore, I mean, let's be honest with you. You really can't because the way the current is out there, but if you're a really strong swimmer, you can actually make it. Yeah, yeah. you also gotta be very careful because um, there was also, I remember that shit was also um, shark infested too. No. San Francisco was shark infested. Uh, uh, it was, yeah. yeah. And there was yeah, a shark in there, trust me. How do you know? Were you there? Dude, there's oh, always sharks in that water. How do you know this? How do you know? Have you ever been this? Actually, he's bay? right. I have. Um, dude, I may, I may not have ever been near, but San Francisco Bay is a, uh, a habitat for seal population which attracts sharks. Are you sure about that? Yes. 100%. I'm watch, fucking with guys. Watch Shark Week. Can you let me fuck on my brother, please? Can you let me fuck on my brother? <laughs> watch Shark Week. They no. have already proven it, bro. I know that, dude. That's, That's a, a Shark Week. It's I was... a major seal habitat. Oh, and Lord have great white sharks feed on seals. He fucked up the joke. Damn it. I can't even fuck on my own brother. Mm. Nope. Damn. God, I took that too damn seriously. Damn it, man. I know about the San Francisco Bay. I watched Discovery Channel and Shark Week, too, you know. Jesus fucking Christ. 
And you see what I have to deal with, Twitch? Assholes. A lot of them. Yeah. You want to thank you for noticing. Exactly my point. And I rest my case. <laughs> and yes, I am one of You actually have a case to rest? An asshole can always spot another asshole. Especially if their pants are down. You see, there's something wrong with Salty because he makes a lot of homo comments. I think he's letting his slip show and he's not telling anybody. Hey, he, he, he's that closet homo. Right, right. I right. ain't closet homo. I'm, I'm open about it. I'm bisexual. <laughs> Well, well, at least he's not. I mean, at least he's not saying he's trisexual. So I mean, that's a good thing. Well, I mean, everybody's a trisexual. Most people will try anything at least one time. Well, no, I, I meant in his case, he's not into bestiality. So I mean, you know, that's. Well, we don't know. He ain't spoke on that one. I mean, something stay in the closet. I uh, no. Uh, bestiality is one of those things I don't. I don't agree with bestiality. If you're gonna fuck animals, stay five miles away from me. Cause I'll shoot you. What for? It's not your I animal that you're screwing. I can't argue that. <laughs> it's not your animal that you're screwing. It's for my, as I long still, as they uh, own that animal, that's the problem. Do whatever the hell they want to do. That's the problem, though. What if it is my animal? Then you have then a right I have to, to shoot, shoot them. them. I mean, if they're screwing like their own said, animal, stay five, walk five away. Five miles away from me. If you go, if if they're gonna be some kind of animal perv, stay five miles away, cause I'm gonna shoot you, cause you ain't gonna fuck my dog. They might not even find your dog attractive. Most people don't like chihuahuas. Too small. <laughs> it's not a chihuahua. Okay, well, okay, it won't be okay. a chihuahua, anyways. Okay, 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 chupacabra, but. Still, it's too small. <laughs> All right, let's see. What are? Oh, wait, get out of there. Custom starship. starship. Not the one I want. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The disappearance of Driffin's Comet in the 23rd century will be a scientific curiosity. I have taken steps to suppress information that might reveal our involvement, and I trust that you and your crew will refrain from telling stories about what happened here. Yeah, no, I don't want to. Why would I want to tell anything about that whole ordeal of going back in time? Yeah, Joe, you're No. Oh my god, dude, you just now hearing about that? Really? Really? You just now hearing about that? Where have you been? Uh, don't feel bad, I That's just heard about it myself news. yesterday. Technically today. That's old news. What do who have to say about that? They've been saying that shit since Obama took office. Korea's been talking about that shit since the Obama took office. They've, they've been talking about that shit. And, and you notice they ain't done it. If they nuke us, I vote they nuke where Trump is. Just him. Why? Why, with is he, why is everybody talking about nuking Trump? Leave that man alone. That man ain't done nothing to hurt nobody in this damn country. He's an idiot. Well, granted, that's... You know, he just... Of, he just I just passed want to get a bill that said that... You do know that he just passed a bill that said that if you're... If you're a transvestite or transsexual, you can't be in the military, right? You know that was overruled, right? Because they right. weren't given an actual order. So, the military is something... Commanders or something like that. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. Said that they're going to be treating everyone the same still because they weren't giving a direct order. Basically. 
So they literally. And even if he gave them, even if he gave, even if he puts it out in executive, an executive decision, they'll still be in the military anyway. They've been in the military since the military was formed. Before they just never said anything. They had a rule that go by that we call when we were when you're in the military. We have a rule. It's called don't ask, don't tell. Guess what? There was homos. Mm -hmm. There was homos in the military long before I even came along. Guess what? There'll be homos in the military long after I'm gone. It ain't gonna change. Really not. So, whatever. I'd rather have a president in office that at least, at, at least admires and respects our military that can't stand, than, than one that can't stand us and tries to shut us down. Period. Bye, Brad. I'd rather have, I'd rather have Trump in office, who I know at least will take care of us, military than one like Obama that would rather try to see us all out of work and this country undefended. I can't, I can't say anything about that with him because he really shouldn't have been trying to do that, but Obama Trump's don't like it. Obama, Obama never liked the military. He was blatantly disrespectful to the military. He would not salute at any moment that he get and he calls himself a commander in chief. I noticed, I noticed that, that, but that's the only yeah. issue I no, had. But, I, but, but like I said, I don't like Trump no more than the next person. But guess what? It is what it is. Honestly, the ideas that he has for this country is coming from the business mind. It's not coming from the mind of someone who just wants to stuff something somewhere and say, hey, I did that. No, he's Starfleet thinking business like analyze the reports of the attacks. So can't get mad at him for that he's running it like a business and honestly to be honest with you to make this country great again maybe that's what we need we need a businessman we need somebody who knows how to make the hard call and ain't afraid to stand by it but as far as trump as a person he's a jackass he's an idiot i ain't gonna lie about that but you know what i don't have a problem with that man because guess what I don't want to sit in that damn office. You know why? I don't want the headache. So let him do it. Have at it. Knock yourself out. And so far, he hasn't done a bad job. Everybody wants to have something to say about the man. He hasn't done a bad job as the president. I haven't seen anything bad. Yeah, he makes a couple of questionable decisions about certain laws uh -huh. that he wants to put in place. But, I mean, what president doesn't make a questionable call about a law every now and again? Whatever, he's no different than any other person that's been in the office. <laughs> Give the man a chance, you never know. He just might surprise the shit out of everybody. I'm surprised we haven't been nuked yet. <sighs> Why won't nobody nuke us? Because I'm gonna tell you the truth. Half the motherfuckers that wanna nuke us is scared of what he will do. Because Trump don't take no shit. Go ahead and think about nuking us if you want to. Trump has his finger on that button. He'll nuke first. I guarantee it. Trump is... Trump, that nigga's got a set of balls. He's got balls of steel. There ain't a man on the planet that scares that man, and there isn't nobody on the planet that he won't put under if they try to fuck with him. I guarantee it. Look at what he did over there in that third world country where they, that was, mind you, gassing their own people. That motherfucker sent what? 60? 60 fucking missiles that way and told him hey I'm not even gonna let you I'm not even gonna let you gas your own people fuck that here we're gonna blow you up bye who's gonna fuck with a man like that Syria and yeah I know what you mean that man ain't got no qualms in shooting a rocket and saying have a nice night enjoy this creamsicle right along with your fuck you that Change my batteries. Hang on, guys. I have four weapons plus four. five weapons. <clears throat> Where are you going, Dad? Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Can you hear me? 